Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. If you like the content here on this channel, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, like the video, and share the video. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, today's topic, I'm sure you guys are looking at the topic and saying, well, what is he talking about? Well, the US got played by the Afghans and the Taliban. They got played big time. I know a lot of the folks in the media, the mainstream media, are not really talking about how they got played, but the writing is on the wall. First of all, you have Afghan soldiers who were trained by the United States to the tune of a hundred billion dollars. The Afghan soldiers had at least maybe two to three hundred thousand uh, folks. They were three hundred thousand deep. They had been receiving training for 20 years. They've spent tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars on them. They were bankrolled by the United States. All that, wow, I guarantee you, they had no intent of fighting the Taliban. They saw the U.S. as a money grab. And the U.S. is out there thinking, oh, we're going to export American democracy to, the, to Afghanistan. Not every country is rife with receiving American democracy. It's not going to happen. These folks want their Islamic law. That's how they want to live. But you think you can force and pretty much push American democracy on them. So they pretty much saw America as a money grab. If you're giving some folks billions of dollars every year, they're going to welcome you. They're going to receive your money. They don't love you. And a lot of those Afghan soldiers are not United States allies. They are not. They're just collecting a check. It's like meeting a prostitute and a guy pays the prostitute some money to have sex with her. And after that, he thinks the prostitute loves him. He's an extreme fool. There's no love out there in these streets like that. Or you paying for sex and you thinking the woman loves you. It's not organic. These folks were just seeing the United States as a, as a money grab. This is U.S. taxpayer money. That was bankrolling all this stuff. And as soon as the U.S. left and the Talib Taliban came in, they didn't fire a shot. They were like, hell no. What shit. Money gone. We're not firing any shots. That's it. And all those weapons are now in the hands of the Taliban. I mean, I don't understand it. Like, when the U.S. was leaving, why didn't you take all those Humvees with you? Because if they had a second thought that, what if the Taliban took over? Did they not think about it? That all those helicopters, weapons, rifles... Humvees and every uh, high-tech military equipment may fall in the hands of the Taliban. Just look at this. Look at this picture. This is a Taliban fighter right here with an American-made rifle. They had the raggedy AK-47 before, but they was like, bump that. We don't want that anymore. They want this nice-looking rifle. Just look at that. Isn't that rifle pretty, though? Look at them on the Humvees. This is, this is your taxpayer money, people. This is your Americans. This is your taxpayer money that has pretty much empowered the Taliban. And you have the president, the former president of Afghanistan, that was pretty much handpicked by the United States. He's now meeting with the Taliban. He's chilling. He's, he's talking. And the current president dipped out of the country. And according to reports, is that he had $169 million worth of cash in his pocket. That is just cash. That is like his change, $169 million. Do you know how much he has stashed away? 
any probably Swiss banks or all this other secret accounts. There's no telling. Probably billions of dollars. A lot of those generals were over the Afghan army were probably pocketing the money. It was all corrupt. They were just seeing the US as a money grab. And the Taliban saw it from a mile away. And they were they was just they were just patiently waiting. Just sitting on the sideline. There's no telling. Who knows if some of those money that the U.S. spent in Afghanistan, maybe some of those money ended up in the hands of the Taliban. There's no telling. Who knows? Most likely. So you have the current president, uh, Ashraf Ghani. He reportedly fled Afghanistan with $169 million in cash. That's just one person. Cash. Are they going to try to investigate him because that is public funds that he took away so all along the u.s got played now that he left i guarantee you before he left he probably called the taliban and said i'm out but you know what i'm gonna make it look like i escaped <laughs> he's gonna say i make let's make it look like i escaped so he said he didn't want any bloodshed uh, any blood of, uh, of of an Afghan being spilled. Crimea River. What of the blood of American citizens who were spilled? He doesn't want the blood of any Afghan to be spilled. He didn't want any blood bath. What of Americans who sacrificed their lives over 20 years? What about the Gold Star family members? What about them who sacrificed their blood, American blood for Afghans, just for them to fold like a wet paper towel? This is ridiculous, man. When will the United States learn? Not every country is going to want American style democracy. Some countries are just gonna be, it is what it is, that is them. They are fundamentally and ideologically different from the United States. Point blank, there is nothing you can do. After 20 years and $2 trillion, if you can change them, there's nothing you can do. It feels like you just put money in, burned it down the drain. He got student loans. Oh, yeah, people still owe student loans. At least if they had spent some of that money to wipe out student loans. Shit. That would have been a better way to spend that money. But instead, they threw it down in Afghanistan buying weapons and I'm thinking even if you wanted to leave and you wanted to give the Afghan soldiers some weapons buy them pickup trucks Toyota pickup trucks buy them Toyota buy them AK-47 rifles from Russia or this other stuff don't want to don't make it look like you wanted them to be power like Americans like the American military with all these Humvees Black Hawk helicopters Apache helicopters night vision goggles sophisticated military equipment why you gotta give them all that the Taliban came in with pickup trucks and AK-47 and took over the city and the country. You might as well have given the Afghan soldiers pickup trucks. At least have a contingency plan that what if they fold like a wet paper towel. You do not want all this military equipment in the hands of the Taliban. But the Afghan soldiers made it look like they were going to fight. And the U.S. all along was thinking, yeah, we're training them. Oh, yeah, they're going to fight. Oh, yeah. They got Humvees. They got um, rifles. They got all this sophisti sophisticated military equipment. They're going to fight. But no, it was all a game. And they played the U.S. like a sucker. Let me know what you guys think of the comments. This is part one of this video. I'm going to be dropping part two part three, part four. I don't want this video to be too long. That's why I'm going to parse it out. So you need to subscribe and hit the bell notification. So when I drop more of those videos, you will be in the know. I appreciate you guys for watching, man. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd like to hear from you guys. If you disagree with me, let me know if you agree. I'd like to hear diverse viewpoints are welcome here on Extreme Foolishness TV. Please subscribe, hit the bell, share this video like this video stay safe out there people and for anyone who sacrificed any military member 
thank you very much for your sacrifice. Salute to the Gold Star members, I mean Gold Star family members. Salute to any military person who serves. Thank you for your service. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe out there. Be safe. Most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.